hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i am going to jump right into this video with some nail prep i just cleaned my hands so i'm going to go over my natural nail plate since it's been a while since we've done anything Now I'm going to apply a small drop of cuticle oil on my natural nail because we are creating a peel off base coat. Now I'm going to apply a top coat on all of my nails and I'm going to cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to apply the nail tips using base coat and my gel X lamp. I cut my nails down to a medium long type of length. You guys were requesting more medium length nails, so we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna go ahead and shape these down. Now we're going to apply base coat on the entire nail and we're going to also cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. Here is the poly gel that we will be using for today's application. I am also using alcohol as my slip solution. So you guys were asking about application for medium nails. This is kind of a long medium, but I feel like the technique still applies. So typically for medium nails, I don't like to put too big of a bead at the tip of the nail. I still work in two beads when I'm doing medium nails. You can honestly work in one entire bead, but I just feel like for structure purposes, it's best to just do two. So with that same technique, I will apply a small bead at the tip of the nail and I will just begin pressing the poly gel. And again, with Model 1's poly gel, you don't need to tap too much. This poly gel is pretty soft, so I'm just making some light taps. And I will be tapping this all the way throughout the nail. And when I feel like I'm good with tapping, I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to be paying attention to the sides. I'll make sure that the sides aren't running out or too thick. Always pay attention to your sidewalls while you are doing application.
for the excess i'll just take the spatula end from a nail brush from that comes in any kit and i'll just remove the excess at this point i will drag the poly gel upwards from here i'm just going to drag this upwards this way the poly gel is distributed evenly throughout the nail and this will be our first layer I'm going to apply a cuticle bead at the cuticle. This bead will also not be too big just because this nail isn't too long. And I will do the same thing. I'm just going to press into the nail. We're going to push the poly gel into the cuticle, but we're going to make sure we don't flood it. So we're not going to bring it too close to the skin. And once I kind of have that foundation at the top, I am going to drag this downwards very lightly. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the next finger. And blend. Obviously, if you like your nails a lot thicker, you can add a thicker bead. I just don't really like my nails too thick. Gonna place my cuticle bead. So when you have a poly gel that shapes up like this, you can just form it back into a circle or just make it more round shaped. It's easier to blend that way. And then I'm going to press this in once again. And I'm just gonna feather down the ends. For the apex, um, I definitely don't want too big of a hump. For medium nails, you don't really need that big of an apex either. So I'm going to actually blend this upwards on the side. I kind of do a combination of up and down. I kind of blend upwards and downwards depending on how I want it to be shaped. That's what I, con what I do there. And it kind of just blends into itself after a while. So for this finger, for some reason I always struggle with application. I feel like it's because my index finger is kind of slightly shaped funny. I clearly put too much poly gel here, so I'm going to try to smooth this out. I'm going to show you what to do when you encounter this. So I am going to try to drag some of this upwards and also some of it downwards. Because this apex is higher than the rest of these. And I'm also making sure that I clean my cuticles each time I'm working on the cuticle bead just so that it doesn't flood.
Here is how my application looks. I did end up having to put an additional bead of poly gel on the cuticle just so it can match the index finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer from the poly gel just so we can begin filing and so that the nail file doesn't stick to the poly gel. Okay, so here are how my nails are looking. We are now ready to begin the gel art. For gel art, I am doing a cat eye French today. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm using cat eye gel polish from Beatles. And this is the color that I plan on using. It's like this red cat eye gel. It's so pretty.
Now for the magnetizing, I'm not all that great at this, but I do know that you do have to hold the cat eye parallel to the nail so that it's able to magnetize. Here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This nail set is really giving more winter holiday than it is fall. I kind of was aiming for a fall set, but this ended up being looking like a Christmas type of set. I have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.